Hi, my name is Derek Henry with Accelerate Consulting. In this video, I'm going to go through an example of using a multi-unit review template. This is an actual file that I've used in the past with fake data. This template contains P&L reports for individual stores and regions that can be reviewed in a variety of different ways. Setting up a template like this can really help your colleagues and reviewers. If you look at the first tab, this table of contents sheet, you'll see all of the sheets in the file are listed out. There's a separate file that actually pulls in all of the source data sheets that you'll see starting from here, the console tab all the way through, and it formats the appropriate source data sheets. There is a macro also built in here that will help people print. A lot of times you might be distributing this to more basic users that don't know how to select multiple sheets and print, so they can just type in the word print here, go over to the instructions sheet, they can print this, click this button here, and it'll print out all the sheets that they want to print. Over here on the instruction sheet, you'll notice that there's color-coded instructions. They're very, very detailed. Um, key items like the sheet names are in green, the macros that you can run are in blue, and then any key items are listed out. There's some macro buttons over here to help streamline common co commands, such as filtering to negative amounts or zeros and then unfiltering everything. There's nothing really on the input sheet because all of these inputs in here are actually linked up to different cells. Over here on the review sheet, there are a lot of common steps that are done each period, and it just sets expectations for reviewers and what they need to be doing. The next two sheets are really helpful dynamic summary sheets. First on the side-by-side -side sheet, this shows all of the line items as rows. This is going to mimic the structure from all of the source data sheets, but each of the columns is a line item from each of the stores. Actually, it's, it's a column from each of the stores. Notice how all the store numbers are up here in the headers and then every one of these lines is, is uh, displayed here. You can actually sort horizontally, so if I want to go over here and I want to sort by row 19, I just click the button here, I press 19. It defaults based on the row that you're on and notice it sorts everything descending. So sometimes you might want to, might want to see that, uh, it just shows some comparability. The other good thing about this is that it's powered by the indirect formula. So notice here in cell B8, I've got the sheet listed, I've got the um, row listed here, and then the column is referenced here by B. So I can actually use any different column that I want to use here. Maybe I want to look at variances instead of just the actual results. I can do that. It's going to update the column B here. And then everything just updates dynamically. So if I want to look at prior year, everything's just going to update. This is really helpful for comparability over stores. It's just a really good review tool. Another view is the row by row sheet. Now the difference in this one is that it shows all of the same columns that we're going to see in the source data sheets, um, but it's list, you're going to see just one line item. And so here you've got comparability, but you can also see the trend. So since this is the last six periods of trend, you've got percentage of sales here. You can actually see for any particular line item, in this case beer sales, which is obviously very important, you can see how the trend is going, but you can also see that for every store and you've got all the different metrics here. Notice also that in cell B7 here that this is also powered by the indirect formula. So if I want to change this to row 12, it'll update everything on the fly. Each of these, each of these uh, sheets has macros to be able to jump back and forth between all the different source data tabs. So if I go over here to the console tab, I want to look at meat cost. All I have to do is run the macro, and here I've got a little picker to run macros in this workbook. We're, we want to go to the row by row sheet, so I'll have to pick three. It's going to use that particular row that I was on. You notice it changed to meat cost. It's going to jump to the cell for that store in the column that I was in. So it's really helpful. And if I run the same one, it's going to go right back to the, again, to the, the sheet that I was on, the line that I was on, and the column that I was on. So it's really helpful for navigating. You can do the same thing with the side by side sheet. Let's try that right now. Notice it jumps to the side-by-side -side sheet. It jumps to the store that I want and the, the line item that I want. So it's really helpful to do that. Next up is the comments sheet. Now we're going to come back to this in a minute. I just want to let you know that we're starting with a blank sheet here. So what this does is if I'm over here, say I'm reviewing and I, I want to put a comment and ask about something, I'll just run the macro for copy PL comment. And what it does is it takes a link to the exact cell that I was on for the row for the sheet. It creates a link. It adds a little a few details for the comparison of what I was looking at. Shows the store number, the item, and here I can make a comment. In this case, we'll put this is not right. Please review. 
And from there, I can assign that to somebody. Sometimes I'll put their initials out here. We can actually have a response. And what this does, it ends up being your to-do list. And it's great for documentation for SOX purposes and, and just to let people know that it's a proof of completion kind of thing. If I run this again from the same sheet, it's actually going to take that comment, it's going to put it in that same row, in that same sheet, as a self comment. So it's helpful, it's in two places. But the great thing is that you have your list. Imagine you have 20 or 30 things that you want to review. If you had to hunt these down in every sheet, that'd take you forever and, you know, what if you missed some? That might not be a good thing. But right here, they're in a big list. There's actually a similar macro in the Accelerate add-in called File Comments. And what that'll do is it'll create a sheet called File Comments when you run it the first time and when it's already in there, it's going to create a list of comments just like this with links back to the cell that you ran it from. And so that's really helpful for when you're reviewing a file, especially big files that have a lot of sheets. There are actually two files that accompany this video and article. The template that we've just walked through right here is one of them. And then there's also another template that actually builds out this file and brings in all of these source data sheets. It applies formatting, does a few other steps. And we've included that just in case you find this helpful and want to recreate it in something that works for you. That's it for this video covering using a review template in Excel. You can find more videos like this one and many other resources on our website at www.excelvate.co. Thanks for watching and have an excellent day.